and uh, welcome to Quinny West Gardens Growing Community's new YouTube channel. Today we're going to show you what we do at the garden here with our loofah. So um, we grow loofah, although you can eat it, we grow the loofah for the sponges. So this is a loofah that is um, hopefully ready and I'm going to show you how we peel it. It will look like this when it's done. Um, we wait till they dry out. Lufa takes a long growing season. So it takes about 20 days to germinate the seeds. So you have to be patient. Um, but then after that, we leave them on the vine as long as we can. So um, to peel them, you just sort of scoop off the uh, outer shell once it's dry. Let me just get my thumb under there. And you can just slide your finger underneath it. Peel off the outer skin. Can be a bit messy. <laughs> um, and you'll see sponge, beautiful sponge underneath. Wow. When they're nice and dry, you might find it has brown spots on it, like the one that's dried here. Um, you can just give them a little bath in the uh, like a diluted bleach solution or hydrogen peroxide, but take out your seeds before you give it a bath. And the seeds, they just look like little watermelon seeds, so we save those for next year. Um, these have to be completely dry before you use them. So you can just leave them in a dish rack or something to dry out once you've kind of given it a wash. We're almost done with this one here. So one of the things I like to do with the sponges, I mean, you can cut them to the size you want or the size you'd like. Um, but one of the things I like to do is to make a soap. And I'll just show you that in a second. I'm almost done here. So here is your final product loofah. I don't know, if, oh yes, and these ones are ready to come out. And you just, you tap them and you might find even when, once you dry them, um, you might find that uh, some of the seeds get stuck in there, but once you do your wash, uh, the seeds will come out better. So, so one of the things we like that I like to do um, is to make soaps. So we make little scrubbies. So I, I literally take a Pringle can or some kind of mold. Whoops, there's still <laughs> seeds in there. Anyway, there's lots of seeds, obviously. So you put the whole sponge in, actually you can cut the ends first so it's flat in the container. And one container should get you about eight to 10 bars of soap. But here's one that's sort of started. That's only a half thing. So you put your mold, you put your loofah in the mold and then let it dry for, I don't know, a day maybe and then just peel off your thing and let's see if I can cut one of these and show you the loof inside. Um, try to, oh it smells good. <laughs> um, try to get maybe an inch thick. This is a good size sponge. You can hear it sort of slicing. I usually get my son to do this because it takes a little bit of effort for me. This is probably not the best thing, but you'll have the sponge inside the, the soap. And this is a perfect garden scrub, shower scrub. <laughs> you can make your soaps any color as well. And then, if you would like, you can use your soaps to do a little gift basket wrapped up nicely with your loofah and your sponges. <laughs>